my name is Chris Harris and I'm from AllerieTutors.com and welcome to this video on calculating the number of moles at equilibrium from Kc. Now this question can be really tough in the exam and uh, if you've got reasonably reasonable math skills you should be able to do it but what I'm going to aim to do is to run through this question or this type of problem uh, and try and explain the maths behind it as well because that's really where most of the marks comes in here. So what we've got is an equation here this is uh, just hydrolysis of an ester. So we've got our ester here, we're going to react it with water um, and we're going to produce your carboxylic acid and alcohol. So uh, we're going to go through it like I say step by step um, using the information that we've got from the question here but I've cut the question out because like I say I want to emphasize the actual maths and process behind it. Okay so we've got our question here now we've been told the number of moles that we have now this is the actual number of moles in the solution not the molar ratio which we will use later on we can't get the two mixed up here so we're going to start by looking at um this one here so we're going to look at initial uh then we've got this acronym which is ice uh, i stands for the initial number of moles so this is right at the start of the reaction c tells us about the change in the number of moles which will be very important in this case and E is the equilibrium number of moles, which is ultimately what we want to work out. So uh, I is the um, initial number. So the initial number we've been told is one for this one here. So we're just going to put one mole for this one. This is the actual number of moles. Uh, and the amount of moles of water is five. Okay. And obviously we will have none of this and none of this because we haven't actually produced it yet. Now what we want to work out is the is the change. Um, now the problem is we haven't been given much uh, data here and we need to work out the equilibrium moles. So to do that we need to work out the change. Now this is where the algebra bit comes in. Uh, we're going to use the molar ratio for this bit because we need to work out the, the change in equilibrium and that is only worked out using the molar ratio. So the molar ratio in here is all one. It's one to one to one to one. So in this case, um, we can say that the change is going to be one minus x, x being the unknown value that we don't know. Uh, same with water as well. This is going to be one minus x. So effectively, we had one mole in terms of the molar ratio, and we're going to decrease by a value that we don't know yet. Uh, on this side, this is going to increase by the same amount as these ones, because obviously we've got a one to one ratio. So this is just going to be x, and that's going to be x as well. And the equilibrium, that's what we're going to work out ultimately. Okay, so Obviously, what we have to do is use the Kc expression, and we've been told that Kc is 7. So the first thing I suppose we have to do is work out Kc. So we're going to do this in a uh, we'll keep stick with blue, I think. Right, so Kc. Uh, and remember, Kc is the product over reactants. So this is the concentration of your products. So we're going to write that down there. So this is going to be HCOOH times by CH. 3 OH divide that by the concentration of your ester CH3 and multiply that by H2O. Okay, so there's our equilibrium expression. Now, what we have to do is obviously take this and substitute um, our changes in here to actually work out the equilibrium amount. So the total here, we've got this and this which is effectively going to be x times by x, because these have got x values, which is the change. And this is going to allow us to work out the equilibrium amount as well. Uh, and then this one here, uh, we're going to work out the, um, use these numbers here. So this is going to be 1 minus x. And we'll work this out in a minute. Well, that's going to be 1, whoops. It's going to be 1 minus x. Okay, so all I've done is literally just taken these, Put them there and these and put them there and obviously then we can take this and we can simplify this even further and we can do this to it so we can do x squared divided by and this is going to be one minus x squared so literally i've just multiplied the two together it just makes it a lot a lot neater right now what we've been told is we've been told that kc has a value of seven so we're going to drag this down here Okay, so there's a quite a few steps to this one. So Kc is 7, so we're going to say 7 equals, and we said x squared over, and this is 1 minus x 
squared. Okay, so we've got this. So what we need to work out is x. We need to try and get x. So the first thing we can do to simplify this is to get rid of these indices here. So um, the first thing is we're going to square root both sides. And I'm going to do this in red so you can see the different step. So we take the square root of that side and we take the square root of 7. Now, if you put all that into your calculator, I'll draw it over here. If you put all that into your calculator, you should get 2.65 here. So that's the square root of 7. Uh, and that's going to equal x over 1 minus x. Because if we square root this, that literally all that happens is the squared signs go. And so we're left with that. So it looks a little bit simpler now, just about nearly. And um, the next thing we need to do is we need to try and get rid of this bracket here. Now this is divide by 1 minus x. So to get rid of this, we need to multiply by 1 minus x. So if we multiply this side by 1 minus x, we effectively cancel that out. And so we multiply this side by 1 minus x as well. Remember what we do to one side, we've got to do exactly the same to the other. So this would leave us with... So if we draw an arrow, show what happens. So this is leaving with 2.65, 1 minus x, because that's multiply, and that will just equal x. Okay, so there's your next bit. Uh, and then what we have to do is we then have to obviously expand the bracket as normal. Okay, so we're going to multiply that and that. Uh, and then we should expand the bracket and then we'll get rid of the bracket bit at least. So again, we're... All we're trying to do is try to simplify this and make it a lot easier. Okay, so what we should have, if we expand this bracket, we should have 2.65 times 1 obviously just gets us 2.65. So I'm going to draw it over here. So it's going to be 2.65, which is this first bit. And then 2.65 times by minus x is going to be minus 2.65x, which is just going to go there. Uh, and then this one, Obviously, all this will just equal x. Okay, so once we work that out, we then need to go on to the next step. So I'm just going to come just running out of stages here. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're then going to take this x here, this minus 2.65x, drag it across here, so at least to get all my x's on one side and all my numbers on the other. So we're just going to do that. So we're going to put 2.65, uh, and then we're going to have if we take this, that's minus 2.65, we're going to put plus 2.65 on here. So that cancels that out. So that's going to be we'll equal. And then 2.65 plus x is just going to be 3.65x. So there we go. And then what we need to do is we need to take this number and divide by this number. Uh, and we should get the value of x. Um, and so if we go on to the next one, so x should equal... I know it's quite long-winded, but uh, it's, you get quite a few marks for this. So x um, should equal 0.73 if you put that into your calculator. Okay, right. Now, this is the change. This is the big thing. So we've worked out the value of x, which is 0.73. Um, then what you would do is you then go back up to this number here, and we're going to use a different column again. And to show this and then finally we can work out our equilibrium number of moles now this is where we're using the actual number of moles that we were given here so for example we start with one mole of this um, and so we're just going to do one mole minus the 0.73 which is the value of x uh, and then we should have for this one is 0.27 that's the number of moles at equilibrium and uh, this one we start off with five moles as the actual number of moles so we're going to do 5 minus the value of x, which is 0 0.73. So uh, in this case, this is going to be 4.27. So we are using the actual number of moles here to work this out. Uh, and then obviously this is going to increase. This is dead easy, this one. This is going to increase because that's just the value of x. So x is 0 0.73. So so is that. And so is that one as well. That's going to be exactly the same. And there we go. We have worked out the number of moles um, at equilibrium. Um, there is other ways of doing this as well, of course. If you are really good at maths, you can uh, convert this into a, um, a quadratic expression where you have your x squared, your x, and your number term. Um, in, you can put all to zero, and then you can use your quadratic formula if you want to do that. This is just a way of doing it without the quadratic formula. It just I know it looks quite long-winded, but it's a way in which 
it will actually um, work without that. But um, if you're really confident with maths and you're okay with maths, then you can use the quadratic formula, of course, and it would just work just as well. But um, there we go. A decent number of marks. It may come up. It may not come up. So you'd be, I suppose you'd be uh, quite lucky if it didn't come up. But, you know, at least you prepared for it um, if it does. So that's it. Bye-bye.